Every two minutes, a hectare of land goes up in smoke in Madagascar. 120 seconds is all it takes for an area the size of a football pitch to disappear. Every year, 300,000 hectares are destroyed. Plants and animals found nowhere else in the world are being lost in the flames. It is an ecological and a human tragedy, as these forests are vital to the survival of millions of Malagasy people. So why is something so valuable being destroyed? Part of the answer is simple. Madagascar is one of the poorest countries in the world. Some farmers are just trying to survive, but they do not have enough land to cultivate, so they burn down a few hectares of forest to grow crops. But other unscrupulous people who have money have found a way to profit from it. They recruit farmers to set fire to hundreds of hectares of forest in protected areas managed by local communities. It is destruction on a grand scale. Let me explain the principle. Fire clears the forest without any effort, leaving soil fertilized by the ashes. This lets farmers do what is known as slash and burn agriculture. Is that a good idea? Not really because the fire destroys the soil. The thin layer of fertile soil quickly disappears, sometimes after just two years of cultivation. It is swept away by the rain to the sea, where the earth suffocates the coral reefs. This means empty fishing nets, barren land, and no wood for cooking. These are perfect conditions for a humanitarian crisis. That is why local communities are helping to create protected areas. Alternatives to this destructive form of agriculture are being put in place. People are developing tourism and new agricultural practices that are more productive and environmentally friendly. For this to work, you have to meet with the farmers, to open their eyes. What could be better than a photo to show people the disaster that is happening? That is where Aviation Sans Frontières and WWF Madagascar come in. The team boards a small Cessna 182 airplane. Their mission is to take photographs every year of all the protected areas covered by this project. They are monitoring from the air. The technique is simple and extremely effective. The airplane does not need any special equipment. Aviation Sans Frontières just rents it from a local air company that meets all the air safety requirements. It allows them to fly higher than drones and cover much larger areas. What's more, these aerial photos are cheaper than satellite images of the same resolution. Here's an example. Let's go back to just before takeoff. Patrick and Todzu the two photographers are getting together the materials. It all fits into a small backpack. They trace the flight path using Google Earth. The route is made up of several sections spaced at three kilometer intervals. The itinerary is then transferred to the pilot's GPS and all he has to do is follow it at a height of 700 meters. During the flight, the photographers take three photos every three seconds from the top down using cameras that are also equipped with GPS. When they are back on the ground, they compare the photos with the ones taken the previous year or the most recent Google Earth images. They just have to use the GPS coordinates. When they observe that some of the forest has been destroyed, Patrick and Todzu indicate this on the photo. They find it on Google Earth and get the precise location. This data can be used to monitor deforestation over several years. The maps are then printed to guide ground patrols. The photos will be shown to farmers who burn forests. This is done by the members of the local community in charge of managing the protected area. This is where it is very effective to have oblique aerial images taken from an airplane window. They are more intuitive than satellite images and they let the farmers see their landscapes, their villages and their forests as if they were looking down from a hilltop. This lets them understand the scale of the damage. So photos are useful tools for dialogue with farmers. They are also useful 
for raising awareness among the public and political decision makers. Aerial monitoring can be used to cover 10 protected areas each year. This represents an area of more than a million hectares. Since it was launched in 2010, the project for aerial monitoring of protected areas has helped save several thousands of hectares of forests. Aviation Sans Frontières was awarded the Belgian Energy and Environment Prize for this project in 2012. The rigour of its methodology was borne out by a scientific article in 2015. Now you know everything about oblique aerial photography. Aviation Sans Frontières and WWF Madagascar are helping local communities to ensure a better future while protecting biodiversity.